top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a pixel art Twitter header in a, like a space slash nighttime um, like style. It looks really, really cool. I'll show you guys in a second like um, the final thing that you will be making in today's video. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed these type of tutorials, pixel art stuff, then make sure you let me know down below by hitting the like button and leaving comments as well. Subscribe if you're new, turn the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, if you break 100 likes, I'll release the uh, template at the end without the text, just the background. Um, you guys will see, but if we break 100 likes, I'll release that. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into to the video right guys so we're here in photoshop so this is basically what we're going to be making it looks really nice it might look a bit complicated but it's actually really really simple to do especially the text it's very very easy to do um so yeah let's just get straight on to into it a very nice looking galaxy or just like night sky um pixel art header so the first thing you want to do is go to new and you want to make a 3000 by 1000 um document uh, pixels 300 resolution um, and yeah create it um, let's just double click on this layer press ok and then you want to choose a background color so I'm gonna go with a, a dark blue and then alt backspace to fill it in um, and then what you want to do is go over to the pencil tool and this is what we're going to be using um, so now you want to go to image image size and take off the zero so it's 300 by 100 and make sure it's the nearest neighbor hard edge you need to make sure it's on that um, and then just zoom in so it's a lot smaller now now you can actually do pixel work so we're going to add a new layer and um, so we're going to add it's going to be faded from quite light at the bottom to dark at the bottom at the top so I'm going to add a bit of a darker area at the top and holding shift I'm just going to drag across so it looks like that do it again. I just want to make sure it's the perfect size, something like that. Then you want to go up a little bit, add a new layer, make sure it's below the one we've just created, and around the same size you want to create another little section, then move it up a bit so it's a little bit lighter, and add a new layer, and then do the exact same again. It doesn't matter if they're not perfect, um, it still looks really good, and then move it a bit lighter, add a new layer, do the same again and then finally a little bit lighter, new layer. Um, obviously you don't have to do blue, you can actually make it more reddish so it's more like a sunset. So you can just go to hue and saturation and just change it to like something like this and that looks really cool as well. Um, I'm just going to stick it like this for now. Um, but yeah, as you can see in this one, I've got like a line going across. I don't know if you can see, there's like a line going across. You guys can add that as well. Um, it does look quite cool with it. Oops. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that really quickly. Add a new layer and make sure the pixel size is 1. Press I on the keyboard and then click the top one. And then go back to your pencil. And then holding shift, just drag across. And then do the exact same for the one below. Press I on the second one. Back to the brush by pressing B on the keyboard. Holding shift, drag across. And just keep repeating this all the way down to the bottom. And it gives it a really nice um, faded effect. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, we can now start adding stars in the background as you can see. I've got different uh, sizes of star stars and the ones at the top are more brighter obviously because it's darker um, and then as it goes down they start to fade out a bit but I've got different shapes like I've just got a pixel, one pixel size um, and then I've got like this little cross and then the extended cross so you guys can do that too. Um, on a new layer um, I'll just show you guys basically what I do. You want to go to like a really really light blue for the ones at the top and we'll just zoom in and just basically just in random places add stars um, obviously you can add some bigger ones as well if you want so say if you want a bigger one all you do is press once and then again on each corner oops very very simple 
Uh, it looks like that, but when you zoom back out, it looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, and then you might want to add an extended one, just by adding an extra pixel like that. You can also do it like this as well. So um, if we go here, just do the normal one like that, and then you can do it vertically like that. That also looks pretty cool. And yeah, just repeat it all the way along. Um, I'm not going to do, like, I'm just going to skip through that part. But you guys basically get the idea. Um, if you can't be bothered, like, um, actually doing it over and over again, which I do recommend actually doing it because it looks a lot better than just pressing Control J and then moving it down. It looks a lot better um, if you just do it yourself rather than copy and pasting it. But you can do this if you can't be bothered. Press Control T, flip horizontally. Um, and yeah, now you've got like a different pattern, but then you want to make sure that it goes down in opacity as you go down from each each section. So 74, something like that. And then you can just like control G, control J, move it down again, like so, and then bring this one down a little bit. And then finally press control J, bring it down even further. And then flip it and then bring this one down quite a bit so you've got this going on as you can see I actually just did it myself the whole entire thing I just did them all random rather than copy and pasting them so now let's get on to the text I did actually add some color corrections um, to mine just to make it pop a little bit more by like brightness and contrast curves exposure and also a bit of color balance so I made it more blue um, but you guys don't have to do that you can do it if you want also you can add like shooting stars if you guys are like, pretty good at pixel art or you, you want to learn more you can do stuff like that as well also guys let me know if you want to see more tutorials like this on the channel hit the like button let me know in the comments and um, yeah for the text very simple all you want to do is go to image size bring it back up by adding a zero so it's 3000 by 1000 again so it's now big then go to text and type in your name and I'm just going to stick with this font, you can use whatever font you want, but you want to make sure that the spacing is quite spaced out. Um, and if you go to character, if you don't have character guys, go to window and then go to character. And if you just double click on your text, so it's highlighted, um, go to the VA and you can increase the spacing. You want to make sure it's quite spaced out, this guys, um, you'll see in a second, if you just rasterize it, go to image size, bring it back down to 300 by 100 it now pixelate it it pixelates it by itself automatically um, but if you just leave it like that and then bring it uh, put it back to 3000 by 1000 it will go back to its normal shape and it won't, won't be pixelated so what you need to do is uh, hold control and click on the thumbnail press control C control V and then delete the original one and yes you you've now got pixel text and when you scale it back up it'll still be pixelated so now you want to add a new layer, create clipping mask, and you can start adding colour to it. Um, so like if you want it to be blue, you can just go like this. And yeah, it looks really, really nice. I'm just going to mess about here. You guys can be more creative than me. Um, but yeah, this is basically how you do it. I might make a more in-depth tutorial on how to make really cool pixelated text. But other than that, this is how you do it. Um, you can like make your own text by doing each individual pixel yourself like you know drawing it out but that will take a long time I can do that but this is good for beginners so also if you press ctrl J and duplicate the text and then the one below it use the arrow keys and bring it down a bit and then press ctrl U make it darker by bringing down the lightness and then bring the saturation all the way up and make it quite dark it gives it like a 3D effect and that looks really nice as well. But yeah, other than that, that's how to make some really nice um, space pixel art, night sky uh, pixel art Twitter header. Um, obviously, it'll look a lot better if you did all the stars randomly because you can see it's kind of the same as it goes down. It doesn't look as good as the original, like the one that I made. But yeah, if you want to see more tutorials on pixel art, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button. Um, if you want to um, 
you know what, if you guys break 100 likes, I will release the template of just the background that you guys can just download if we break 100 likes, guys. So hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I hope you're all having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video.